Margaret Kind here is a Swiss publishing house, and you've all read in the paper that a couple of days ago, the Swiss franc was uh, disconnected from the euro. So for me, it's a patriotic act and duty to ask you not to cancel your skiing vacation <laughs> in the Swiss mountains. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the Dutch and Flemish tourists are very important to us. Uh, high turnover in tourism. And uh, it's true, the Swiss franc is expensive. It's true that other countries with mountains, like Austria. <laughs> but there's a scientific research uh, been done that proved that falling down on skis in the Swiss mountains is a lot more fun than falling down in the Austrian mountains. And if you uh, watch them lowlanders uh, go downhill on skis, you know why I'm saying this. So, the, uh, to the point, uh, this is our beautiful uh, publishing house. Uh, because Switzerland is so expensive, you only have one floor. That's the one above the green window. But everybody uh, who comes to visit uh, immediately wants to quit his job and starts working for us because it's so beautiful on the inside. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any money to hire. Uh, people, but uh, as an example, uh, how beautiful it is, uh, I put my uh, reading chair, uh, which I never get to sit down on, but uh, <laughs> looks very comfy uh, on the left corner. So you can see um, people come to our house and say, sitting in a chair like that all day and getting paid for it, that's something I would like to do. So, uh, two books. One was important for me, it's already seven, eight years ago. Uh, Swiss author, we are sort of specializing, or a big part of the program is contemporary Swiss literature. Uh, was this epic novel, Melnitz, by Charles Lewinsky. Uh, was a good success in, in German language. We sold uh, rights into uh, about 10 languages. But the surprising thing is that uh, the Dutch people, and I suppose the Flemish too, they bought 300,000 copies of this title. And uh, that saved my following year because the license royalties uh, made up for rather low sales in the main program. So I really like the Netherlands and uh, Belgium for that because uh, Charles Lewinsky is sort of a pop star now in, in Holland, as far as I understand. But with these numbers, uh, you have to be. So that was, uh, uh, that was uh, one a book, and the other one, uh, okay, I sneaked in uh, <laughs> uh, a, couple under, uh, a couple more under one title, that's away from the commercial uh, uh, thoughts about uh, banal mammon. Uh, these are re-editions of Swiss, uh, not really classics, but books that uh, are out of stock out of print, are not accessible to the public, but are important literary works uh, in the 20th century. Uh, so on the left side you see um, an edition of Hermann Burgos works. He's probably the, uh, the most important modern author after uh, Max Frisch and Friedrich Dürrenmatt in Switzerland. And the other side is a Collection Nagel and Kimchi, where uh, a lot of Swiss authors, but only single volumes, of each author um, I publish uh, under the um, protection or edition uh, of Peter von Matt, which is one of the, still one of the most important uh, literature professors in German language, I would say. So there's also a, a number of French Swiss authors like Ramu uh, and Sandra, um, but others. And not all of them have been successful, but it's something that uh, will last long, longer than I, uh, I hope. Uh, and that's what, what makes it important to me. Thank you very much. My next speaker, uh, the speaker is uh, Thomas Tegel.